And right now, police are still looking for a man accused of helping two women traffic a 15 year old child. That's according to Kenner Police. The incident happened at a motel, they say, near the intersection of Williams and Veterans. Near the airport, we do know that two women are facing charges for the crime. And tonight, anti trafficking advocates are concerned that we could see an uptick in trafficking crimes. WDSU reporter Jonah Gilmore live at 10. Jonah, what are you hearing? Well, that advocate tells me they usually see more of these crimes when major events are in the city, so things like Mardi Gras and Super Bowl. She urges people to stay vigilant and hopes police arrest the man involved in this case. Two women are facing charges accused of trying to traffic a 15-year-old child. Records shows the women arrested are 31-year-old Jasmine McKinney and 26-year-old Cora Buving. We are currently investigating other individuals as well. Kenner Police confirms the 15-year-old runaway child from Texas was staying with the women and a man at a motel on Williams Boulevard. Just looking at the situation at hand and looking at it one step further. According to Kenner Police, during a June 20th court hearing, it was revealed the group helped the girl post advertisements promoting sex online and were planning to show the child how to quote work on bourbon places such as bourbon street see large amounts of tourists and other individuals looking to have a good time but you also see individuals that are looking to buy commercial sex anti-sex trafficking advocate diane amos says it's a common practice for traffickers to bring victims to low-end motels the security in those motels are not the same as you have in a downtown hotel. She says if the New Orleans Metro deals with a lot of these crimes, adding they usually see a spike when major events are in town. I was here for 2013 Super Bowl in New Orleans and there was there was about a you know I would say a hundred percent increase in trafficking. Amos says signs of human trafficking includes a person's behavior, physical signs like someone appearing malnourished or half injuries and unusual parents like a young girl with an older man. She says apps have made trafficking easier, but people need to be on alert and ready to speak up. Everybody can take a part in knowing what it is, what to look for, and who to contact. Now, both of these women are facing a charge for trafficking children for sexual purposes. Both women did plead not guilty. As of right now, there's no word on who this man is and where he may be. Reporting live in New Orleans, Jonah Gilmore, WDSU News.